Hi, I'm Rex Beanland, and I have the privilege of being one of the instructors at this year's symposium to be held in Calgary. Now, as I've talked to people who are thinking about the symposium this spring, a couple of things have come, come up more than once, and I just thought I would address them here. The first thought that a number of people have expressed is they don't feel that they're good enough or experienced enough to participate in a symposium. And I need to tell you that this idea is completely false. Um, and I'm basing this on the last symposium in Nova Scotia where I was a teacher and my wife was a participant. And what we found there is that the majority of people probably had the same feeling and they all really loved it. Now the instructors are some of the best watercolorists in Canada, but they're also great teachers and they're used to meeting the needs of a full range of, of students from, uh, in Nova Scotia, there were some people who had never, never painted in watercolor. This was their first experience, right up to more advanced painters who just wanted to try some different styles. And the symposium is pretty much has every style that you might want to paint. And they all loved the experience and they all benefited. So don't think that you're not worthy of coming. If you are interested in learning and interested in having a good time, the symposium is made for you. And the second thought that a lot of people have expressed is that they want to go, but they question, oh, it's a five day event. And I need to say the fact that it's five days is one of the best things about it because and I, I, I go back to my wife's experience here, you know, when she's at home, there's the duties around the house and everything that she does. So she sometimes finds it harder to find time to paint. And this was five days where all the cares of the world are left behind and your only job is to paint. Some people like my wife took classes all day and then painted on their own all night. Other people take classes and just enjoy themselves afterwards. But you're surrounded with people and you have one thing in common, a love of watercolor. So you, the chances, the opportunities to connect with people and make friends is just wonderful. And I just want to uh, mention one story from the uh, symposium in Nova Scotia. I was coming uh, down the hall back to my room one night about 10 o'clock and the, the, uh, one of the rooms had their door wide open. And inside there were five women and the room wasn't large and they were sitting all over the bed in the chair and they were just cracking up. They were having a wonderful time socializing. I must admit they each had a glass of wine in their hand, but the social aspect of, of spending time with other people, uh, other watercolor enthusiasts over a block of time like this was wonderful. So if you're interested in this symposium, if you think you'd like to go, I really encourage you to consider it. All you need is a desire to learn and a desire to have some fun. So the Canadian Society of Painters and Watercolor annual, annual symposium this year in Calgary, August 19th to 24th. We hope to see you there. And we'll leave the light on. Okay.